Hello and welcome to another video conference. This is session 10. Okay, two weeks, two weeks. <sighs> I am the first one in the in the room. I'm waiting for, for participants to join in. And I hope we start soon. Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to, to talk about, um, well, it's going to be a review a flashback about all the topics that we have been discussing during this week. And we are going to have a lot of feedback and well, as well, a lot of practice. Just yes, let's wait for some of the students. Actually, they have like one or two minutes to join in. It's still time. I used to uh, start like maybe three or two minutes before the the before a a o'clock as you can see i was trying some uh, okay, how do you call this some filters yes Hello, Mr. Hernandez, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Hernandez. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Good. Very good. Welcome, Vanessa. <laughs> what is that? I hear some feedback. Se escucha ahí, vea una, ¿cómo se le llama? Feedback, ¿saben que es un feedback? Yes. De audio, ¿verdad? En este caso. Me escucho a mí mismo. Welcome, Mr. Ayala. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Remember that you have something to do today before the class starts, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, who was who were your your partners? Your group? Uh, Fatima, mm -hmm. my partner is Fatima and Annabel. Ah, okay. We are, we are going to wait for Annabel and Fatima, okay? To, to check your, your, how do you say? To check the, the conversation. Como pueden ver, estaba, estaba ahí traveseando un poco, ¿verdad? La cuestión de los efectos. Lo malo es que esta cosa siempre sigue bien. Eso es como un, ¿cómo se llama eso? Un como soporte de, un, de una televisión que estaba ahí, pero como se quitó la televisión. Pero la cuestión esa no la puedo quitar porque la pusieron con unos tornillos con taladro. y Bueno, pero voy a probar a ver si puedo con destornillador. Solo es cuestión de hacerle fuerte. Porque sí me hace ahí, parece la luna. ¿no? Ok, ustedes también pueden hacer esto, ¿verdad? o sea, ponerse un fondo así de pantalla, pero tienen que tener un fondo uniforme. Por ejemplo, miren, al único de aquí que le funcionaría esto es a Darwin. A Vanessa no le funcionaría porque tiene allá se le ve un cuadro, creo que ese es el sofá, ¿verdad? Y a Mr. Hernández no, se le, no le funcionaría para nada porque el fondo es muy, muy variado, ¿verdad? No es un solo fondo. Pero miren, a mí me, me funcionó bastante bien, la verdad. ¿Verdad? La verdad... Acá en San Francisco. Ah, yes, it's the, the Golden Gates, I think. That's the name of the bridge, right? Yes, the Golden Gates. But uh, I only have three, three backgrounds. The Golden Gate, eh, 
Earth, like the universe or space, and the other one, I don't remember. There were like, like some plants, some plants, only those three backgrounds. Backgrounds, right? Backgrounds. Okay, we're going to wait for your other classmates before we take attendance, before we take the first attendance. They have two more minutes to, 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 end, to join the session early. If not, they are going to miss the first attendance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good evening, Fatima and Carla. Welcome to Hello, teacher. Thank you. To another session. Uh, Raquel, welcome. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Ay, no sé si ya lo visto. Ok, es que ando en zancudos y aquí tengo mi raquetita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Sánchez. Welcome. How are you, Mr.? Hi. Good. Yes, good. Sorry. Very good. Nice. Do you like my, my background? It's copy. It's what? It's copy. Copycat. <laughs> Do you know it's a copycat? Okay. No problem. <laughs> I have a lot of mosquitoes in here. I don't know what's happening, but they are eating me alive. Hello, Carla Vasquez. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Carla dice que tiene problemas, que no escucha. ¿Alguien puede escuchar a Carla? Yo no la escucho. No. Hello, Carla. I think it's only you because the rest of your classmates can hear me. Okay, guys, I am going to take the first attendance because you are the ones that are here punctual, okay? Thank you for coming to one more session. Let's start with Mr. Ayala. Present. Uh, Delmis. Not here yet. The wing. No. Okay. Mm, Fatima. Fidel. Hi. Hello, welcome, Fatima. Uh, Flor. 
Irving. Josué Adán. Juan Ernesto. I can hear a dog. Whose dog is that? Yes, it is a very small dog. Maybe a chihuahua? No. Uh, Juan Ernesto Escobar. Karina Beatriz. Carla Verónica. Bueno, Carla está aquí, ¿verdad? Solo que dice que no nos pueden escuchar. No sé qué será. María Estela. Present. Hello, María. Welcome. María Vanessa. Present. Mayra. Eh, Nelson Alfredo Amaya. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Ofelia. Raquel Betsabe. Tatiana Maricela. Walter Nilsson. Oh, okay. That was the first attendance. Is anyone I, here that I just yeah. mentioned? <laughs> you, Annabel? Yes, I am here. <laughs> I mentioned you, but you weren't here. Welcome. Yes. Thank Anybody you. Anybody else that just joined the session? No? Okay. Okay, people, welcome to another video conference. In this session, uh, give me a second. Uh, okay. In this session, we are going to have a, a feedback, okay? We are going to talk about some previous topics, but also we are going to have another topic to talk about today. But for this session, I didn't prepare a, a, a PowerPoint presentation. So we are just going to, to watch the book and we are going to practice like watching ourselves face to face and and i'm going to use the notes right the blog notas verdad my good old friend it always saves me okay now uh, let me check if i can project the book just give me one second my computer is a little slow because I have many windows open. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I you can see all my screen right now. Okay, now here we are. Okay, and uh, Mr. Mr. Ayala, your group is here, right? <laughs> I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten what you have to do. Are you prepared? Yes. My partner is Fatima and Annabel. Okay, Fatima and Annabel, are you ready to show us the the conversation that you prepared yesterday? Because we didn't have time for you, for you to to show us your your conversation. Do you have the what you have to say? Okay, hay alguien que me dice que no se puede conectar. Carla Vázquez. Ok, permítanme un momento, jóvenes, que Carla Vázquez me dice que no puede conectarse. Le voy a mandar el link a ver si puede. Permítanme un segundito. Le voy a mandar toda la info de el ID y todo eso. Tal vez puede conectarse de esa forma.
Este, también hay un numerito, no sé si les han brindado un número, ¿verdad? Que tienen cuando tienen problemas técnicos para ingresar a las videoconferencias. No sé si alguien lo tiene. ¿Hay alguien que, que sepa sobre eso? ¿No? Bueno, según me habían dicho, sí, sí lo tienen ustedes. Bueno, ok. Uh, let's, let's hope that Carla joins, ok. Ok, now, let's see Mr. 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 Ayala, Ms. López, and Ms. Fátima, are you ready? Yes, but it is then complete because we have the comment section in the chat. Oh. And, uh -huh. Okay. But I, I take some spring. Okay. I can show Okay, try to do your best. Okay. Can you see? What? The conversation? No. no. The chat? Oh, in the chat. It is in the chat. No, this. Quiero ver si estoy compartiendo aquí. Ángel ah, dice que no lo puedo compartir. ¿Por qué? Mientras el otro participante está compartiendo las. Ah, es porque yo estoy compartiendo. Permita. Bueno, voy a dejar de compartir, ¿vale? Ok. Now I give you the opportunity to share your screen. Can you do it? This good. is? Yes. So I start. Hello, Fatima. I need you to help me with the marketing report for tomorrow. Fatima? <laughs> Fatima, are you there? Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Sorry. Fatima, um, you, you have to you have to show us the conversation. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What happened? Does she have uh, internet problems or something? Maybe. I think because she is like frozen, mm -hmm. like the movie. <laughs> Entonces. I will continue. <laughs> okay, if one of you can do Fatima's part. I will do it. Okay. Sorry, Good. but for tomorrow, it is impossible for me. Ask to Darwin, maybe he can help you. Darwin, it is possible you to help me with the marketing report tomorrow? Of course, I need you. To give me the stylus information? Sure, I will send it by email. Fatima, I need you to give me the extensive information, please. Consider it done. Annabelle says, thank you guys. I really appreciate your help. <laughs> Okay, Creo thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there, is there another part? No. Yes. Oh, okay. I think I have it. <laughs> mm, maybe not. Okay, if you want, we can leave it there. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for your participation. 
uh, let's continue with the with the class all right okay that was the conversation practice by your classmates okay hey, good evening good evening mr koreas okay now i am going to show you some activity that we were supposed to do yesterday but because of uh, some um, well i remember that you asked me a question and i explained uh, some things about objects pronounced well uh, sorry but i forgot this activity that we had yesterday as you remember okay this is part of the feedback of today's feedback yesterday as you remember we were talking about uh, how to talk about important things urgent things that needs to be done asap right now let i want you to read can you can you see this email people hello 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 repeat teacher please can you can you see this email ah yes this email if you can see it very well in the in the in the conference it is on page 25 okay of your manual okay i need you i need one volunteer to read this email me okay mr read it all if you have any question you can ask okay teacher how you pronounce this word and blah 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 you know the drill okay go ahead Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tastes for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You had three days to do it, three or eight days. Call the new clients from the last three weeks weeks and guiding the kind of information for June. You have today to do it one hour each day. It's very important to send the two late cell reports on May 26th and they write a new welcome letter from the new customer you have you have one day to do it for our finally visit the two store in santa tecla you had two days to do it two hours each day organize your week thank you best regards daniel Ruiz. okay thank you very much let me check if i'm recording yes okay now what you have to do is read this email and identify the important activities that guadalupe's boss needs her to do okay identificar las actividades importantes que el jefe de guadalupe necesita que haga okay please identify the activity and then i will tell you what you are going to do but first, obviously, try to read the, the, the email, okay? Try to read the email. Okay, remember that it is in your manual, okay? But if you want, I can, I can uh, share it here in the, in the screen for you to, to see it. Lo que pasa es cuando pongo el libro no me gusta porque se me cierra todo lo demás. Como es... El lector de, de PDF, no sé si otras computadoras son así, pero al menos la mía es así. Okay, try to read it, people. If you have any question about a word, okay, tell me. For example, maybe tasks. You know what are what are tasks, right? For example, um, catalog. Do you know what is a catalog? For example, let me see. 
No, I think all the other words are easy for you to, to identify. I think you are very familiar with those, with those words. Hello, there is someone that has the mic on. Okay. Okay, people, did you uh, identify the, the task that her boss needs her to do? Okay. Mention some of the tasks that Guadalupe's boss needs her to do. Aha. Uh -huh. The hi teacher, I am yeah. Carla. Okay, Carla. The first activity um, is uh, contact the three potential customer in the leads from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, thank you very much. What is the second activity? Anyone else? Call the new clients from the last three weeks. Thank you, Annabel. Anybody Thanks. else? Another participation? It's really easy, okay? It's really easy. This is really easy. It's a piece of cake. It is a piece of cake. Do you know what is piece of cake? Yes. Piece of cake. Pan comido, right? Or piece of Okay, another activity. There are two more activities. Third activities sent to latest self report and the new customers. All right. Okay, people. Now that you have, now that you have identified the um, the activities that Guadalupe's boss needs right. her to do. I need you to order those activities by importance. Okay, which one is which one is like? Vean por favor mi mi pantalla por favor. Which one is the most important? Okay, pueden verme verdad también allí se me ve mi rostro. Okay, which one is the most important, then the second most important, the third more important, and the least important, okay? It is important, but it's not as important as the first one, okay? Please order them by importance. Which one is more urgent? We have first, second, and third, and fourth. First, second, third, and fourth. Fourth, okay. Va, lo pueden hacer ahí en sus manuales para escribirlo si los han impreso o si no lo pueden hacer, verdad, desde eh, su eh, computer, verdad. Permítanme, quiero ver si puedo. No se me ha entendido. No, pues no puedo. Ok. Which oh, is like the most important? Yo estuve leyendo esto y la verdad no, no, no daba así como que ¿Por qué es más importante? ¿Será que es por los días que le ha dado para, para hacerlo? ¿O por las horas cada día? Así que ahí estaba preguntando yo. Así que creo que vamos a tomar ese criterio. ¿verdad? Tomen el criterio de el que tenga menor días y el que tenga menos horas. ¿verdad? Y así lo van ordenando por importancia. Porque si se necesita de hacer en en poco tiempo, pues obviamente es más importante, ¿verdad? Para que tengan en cuenta eso. Por ejemplo, which one is the most important activity here? Number one, what do you have for first most important activity? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, maybe to visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Uh, she had no, 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 no. No, right. Two, two days. No, 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 no. And to, 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 contact first three potential customer because she has no three days. <laughs> How to the uh, so one day. No, it's write a new welcome letter for the new customer. She has one day in for oral hours. Uh -huh. Okay, it could be, it could be, does anybody agree with, with, uh, with, bueno, lo bueno del blog de notas es que puedes escribir lo que estoy diciendo. Miren, does anybody agree with Carla? With Carla? Mm -hmm. Do you know what is agree? Agree, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, does anybody agree with Carla? Les estoy preguntando que si están de acuerdo con Carla en lo que dijo ella. Yes. Does anybody have a different answer, maybe? No? No. Me? Okay. It's yes. Okay, let's see which one is the second most important activity. The second most important activity, people. Second most important? Darwin? Second most important. For me, uh -huh. second most important mm -hmm. call the new client because yeah. call the new client today uh -huh. one because um, today one or mm -hmm. okay thank you very much mister mister I think that's the, the correct answer thank you very much Okay, what about number three? Number three, um, Raquel. Number three. Which one is the third most important? Hello? Hello, teacher. Um... Uh -huh. Can someone help mm. uh, Miss Hernandez? Um, yes, <laughs> uh, I I can help at with okay. Miss Hernandez. Uh -huh. uh, visit the two store in Santa Tecla because she has two days to do it two hours. Um, Hello, sorry, who's that? Ah, you, Carla. Okay, thank you, Carla. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, sorry. No, okay. no, it's this. Okay, and what about the last one? The last one, 
Do you have this answer in the last one? Um, contact the first three potential customers uh, in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Do you have that one? Or do you have... No, I think that's the correct answer, right? Because she has three days to do it. It's like more mm -hmm. time than the other ones. Yes. Okay, okay very nice. <clears throat> Let's continue, people. Now, what are some of the obligations at the workplace? Okay, we talked about obligations right yesterday, right? But now we are going to continue with a new activity, okay? And for this activity, let me write it down for you. Okay, I need you to think about something that you have or need to do this day. Something that is really important that you do. An obligation, okay? Something that you have to do in the next three days, ¿ok? Piensen en estos tres días que vienen, ¿verdad? Y, y qué necesitan hacer ustedes. Permítanme, creo que hay un mensaje en el chat. Mm, let's check it. Mm, me voy a desconectando, teacher. Ok, don't worry, mister. Ok, in the next days. And for this activity, I need you to explain when you are going to do that obligation, where you are going to do it, and the time, okay? What time? For example. What time? Mm, time. What time? También no mi blog de notas, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Uh, for example, I'm going to talk about an obligation that I have to do in the following three days, okay? And I need you to identify when I am going to do it, where am I going to do it, in the time, okay? Okay, for example, well, uh, I have another job, okay? So let's talk about that, okay? Okay, in the following three days, I have this obligation and I have to deliver some reports about the scores from my students. I have to deliver my reports to Universidad, Universidad Gerardo Barrios. And I will do it on March 14. And maybe, I don't know what time, that time, maybe, I don't know if I have to do it. I will do it in the morning or in the afternoon. But maybe I am, go I am going to do it after lunch. Maybe at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. Okay? Now, let's see. When am I going to do that obligation? When? Estaban escuchando, ¿verdad? Estaba hablando de my obligation. Yes, teacher. Eh, I start, teacher. No, no, no. Le estoy pidiendo que me digan sobre lo que acabo de decir, ¿verdad? Si es ah. cuándo lo haré, dónde lo haré y a qué hora lo haré. Uh -huh. No me prestaron atención. Darwin, when am I going to do it? Um, set the qualification to a student in University of Gerardo Barrios. Ajá, but when, Mr. When, no, no. when, el, el cuándo, verá, cuándo voy a hacerlo. Uh, Saturday. Mm, tomorrow is I don't Saturday. remember. Bueno, la verdad que adivinó porque yes. es mañana. 
Es que dije el 14 de marzo y, y mañana es 14 de marzo y mañana es Saturday. Así que, mira, ve. Eh. Ay, disculpe que le pregunte tanto, pero es que me aparece al principio aquí, siempre me aparece su, su imagen. Así que como el, al primero que veo, por eso le pregunto. Ok, what about... Bueno, ya dijo, ya dijo Darwin dónde lo voy a hacer, así que vamos a omitir eso. But what about the time? What time am I, am I going to deliver? What time am I going to deliver those scores, those reports? What time? What time? Uh -huh. I have my reports here and I need them to deliver. A veces, verdad, necesito que vean mi pantalla porque a veces estoy haciendo algunas algunos gestos, ¿verdad? o mostrando algunas cosas, ok en este momento lo estoy haciendo, así que sería bueno que lo vean ok, when am I going to deliver my reports what time ¿Mm? ajá eh, María what time Hola, me escuchan. Um, I'm sorry, teacher. I don't, I don't clear for me. Ok, don't worry. Bye. Bye. Bueno, bye. Le, bye. voy a volver a explicar la actividad porque tal vez algunos no han entendido. Ok, si ese es su caso, pues con atención. Eh. Y si no es su caso, pues solo, ¿verdad? Este, ahora como que están prestando atención. <ríe> Ok, bueno, lo que vamos a hacer en este momento, ¿verdad? Es que vamos a hablar de una tarea, ¿verdad? Una obligación que nosotros tenemos en los próximos tres días, ¿ok? O sea, ¿verdad? Tomando en cuenta Saturday, Sunday, en Monday, ¿ok? Tomando esos tres días en cuenta. ¿Qué piensen ustedes? ¿Qué, qué obligación tienen en esos tres días, ¿ok? En una, solo en una. Ahora bien, lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Es describir. Miren en la pantalla cuándo la van a hacer, ¿ok? Obviamente que es, vea, pero quiero que también mencionen cuándo la van a hacer, dónde deben hacer esa obligación, ¿ok? Y a qué hora, ¿verdad? La hora exacta, ¿verdad? O semi exacta, ¿sí? Vea, yo lo que estaba haciendo era explicar una actividad que tenía, para lo cual les había pedido que prestaran atención al, al dónde, o sea, cuándo, eh, perdón, a cuándo lo iba a hacer, dónde lo iba a hacer y la hora que lo iba a hacer, ¿verdad? Y pues eh, creo que no, no, no me he entendido, pero, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que quiero, o sea, piensen, solo piensen, ¿verdad? No van a escribir nada, pero si ustedes sienten que tienen que escribirlo porque se les dificulta un poco, no hay problema, ¿ok? Pero sí les voy a dar, ¿verdad? Unos 30 seconds, ¿ok? 30, 30 seconds to think about that obligation that you have in the following three days, okay? Think about it. Think about the when, where, and what time, okay? Ahora sí entienden lo que van a hacer. ¿Ya? Estoy viendo todas sus pantallas a ver si están moviendo la cabeza de arriba abajo. Yes. O si quieren decir, yes, I understand, teacher, lo pueden decir también. ¿Ya? A Nelson casi siempre solo le veo la mitad de la cabeza para arriba. ¿Soy el único yo? ¿O, o, o, ah, está, ah, pues sí, a ver, que no, no estaba bien sentado. Ok. Okay, people, think about that obligation. Obligation. Okay. Obligation that you have to do in the following three days. Okay, three days.
Okay, people, are you ready? Who's ready? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? If you want to practice, this is the time for you to practice. Are you ready? No, I don't ready. You're not... I need more time. Okay. Okay, I will give you 20 more seconds, okay? Remember that you don't have to write anything, okay? It's just think about an obligation, about when you are going to do it. For example, maybe it could be a day, like you only have three days, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, okay? And think about the place. For example, it can be your 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 at your work, right? For example, I don't know. Let's say um, I don't know. From Erika's bank, maybe we have here. Teacher. Yes. Uh, um, it's good to practice every day. I really need tomorrow to pay taxes in the in the finance ministry. Okay. In the morning at eight a.m. Okay, actually that was pretty specific. <laughs> Nelson, when does Maria have to do this activity? I know put the attention. You didn't pay I repeat. It. Uh -huh, can you repeat I that? really I really need tomorrow to pay taxes in in the finances minister in the morning at 8 a.m. When? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? What day is tomorrow? It's Saturday. And the date? The number? <laughs> ah. Today is... <laughs> minister, minister. No, Mister. The, the date, the date, the number ah. for tomorrow. Uh, Night. Um. Uh, today is thirteen. So tomorrow is. Today is. Today is fourteen. Ah, sorry. Twelve. <laughs> oh, tomorrow is thirteen. I have, I have uh, my calendar is wrong. Okay, sorry. No, si es que de la computadora es porque en, el, en mi teléfono si dice, si dice 12. Eh, tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. And where does he have to do this activity, Mayra? Where, the place? Mm, I don't listen. Ajá, María. Um, at her office? No, not her office. No. no. Uh, at minister. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ministerio de Hacienda. <laughs> eh, how do you say Ministerio de Hacienda, María? Finance Minister. Finance Minister. Finance, finance Minister. Finance. 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 Así se pronuncia el finanzas, ¿ok? Finance. Finance. Yes. Finance, finance. finance, like this, finance minister. Okay, excellent. And what time is she going to do this obligation? Um, Josué? <laughs> Hernández Josué? What time? ¿A qué hora va a ir ella a pagar sus taxes, verdad? Hola, Mr. Hernández. Hello. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. 
she's going to pay taxes at 8 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Hernandez, I think you are having problems with your microphone. Porque no podía escucharlo, veía que movía la boca, pero ya lo tenía activado, pero aún así no se le escuchaba. Thank you very much, Mayra. Now, Mayra, tell us about your obligation. Okay, but okay. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, Mayra. Okay, everyone else okay. pay attention, okay, because I am going to ask. Ya, para que evitemos eso ya, de que pongamos al compañero a repetir varias veces. Pónganle atención, por favor. ¿Sí? ¿Todos están escuchando a Mayra? Sí. Vale. Ok, recuerden que les voy a preguntar, when is she going to do that obligation? Where is she going to do it? And what time is she going to do it? Ok. Ajá, Mayra. Tomorrow I will go to the beauty salon with my mom in the morning at 9 a.m. Ok, eh, Nelson Amaya. Where is Mayra going to take her mom to? Um, she, she, uh, she go tomorrow um, the beauty salon. In what time? The time? Time, uh, 9, uh, 9 a.m. Is that true, Mayra? Yes, 9 a.m. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Amaya and Mayra. Now, Mr. Amaya, tell us about your obligation and everyone else pay attention, okay? Uh, Mr. Amaya. I have to prepare a shipment for Monday in the winery with different clients. It has to be rely before noon. Okay, Annabel. What? What did he say? I, I thought that you were making a face that you weren't listening well. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, Mister, can you can you read it again? But this time, try to read it uh, slow, uh, slowly. Okay? okay, not so fast. But I have to prepare a shipment for Monday, mm -hmm. and the winner with different clients. It has to be ready before noon. Okay. Uh -huh. When is he going to do this obligation, Miss Miss Lopez? For Monday, I understand. For Monday, and what about the time? In the anybody, morning. Anybody else understand? Uh, heard the time? He, he for noon. Uh -huh, before noon. He didn't say an exact time, right? But he said before noon, like before 12, 12 p.m., right? In, in midday. Midday? Midday es como mediodía también, se puede decir así. Pero noon es, my com es más común, ¿verdad? Noon. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Eh, the rest, bueno, en los demás, ¿verdad? No podemos escucharlos a todos, pero I appreciate that you work. Okay, I always appreciate that. Remember that is for your own good. Miren, esto es lo que acabo de decir. It's for your own good. Esto es algo que seguro más de alguna vez le han dicho a sus hijos. <ríe> si tienen hijos, vea. Okay, es por, por tu propio bien, ¿verdad? Así se dice. It's for your own good, okay. Okay, uh, let's continue, people. Do you have any question before we continue? No? Okay, ahí está el blog de notas, vea, por si quieren tomar, pues, notas, ¿verdad? Tal vez quieren esta frase, no sé. O oh, finance minister, la verdad, yo no sabía cómo se decía, así que thank you, María Estela, for that vocabulary. Uy, creo que escribí mal, minister. Sorry. Me he fijado. Y hey, si ven que escribo mal algo, no duden en, en decírmelo. Si no, sus demás compañeros se van a ir con eso. Ok, minister, miren cómo se escribe, ¿verdad? Lo había escrito con una E. Minister, yes. Ok, let's continue. Now, people, write an activity. Interview to classmates and write the activity they do. Ok, we are going to omit this activity. <coughs> that is really similar to the, to the previous one, so. 
Okay, but now we have a short conversation. Can you see that conversation? Yes. Okay, I will need two volunteers. Well, actually not volunteers because I am going to choose them. Okay, uh, let's choose. Uh, 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 let's see. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, let's choose Annabel and in, 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 in Fatima. Okay, Annabel and Fatima. Annabel, you are going to be Susan. And Fatima, you are going to be Adele. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, Abel, please check my agenda when it's a meeting with the consultant. How about this? Adima? Yes, Susan. Hello? Monda. Uh huh? Okay, sorry Fatima, but I think you are having problems Monday. with your Monday. internet connection. Bueno, o no sé si soy yo el que la escucha, la que la escucha entrecortado. Los demás la escuchan bien. Sí, es que se no. escucha, se escucha cortado, igual se le escucha a usted. Oh, que okay. alguien más tiene problemas uh -huh. para escucharme. Yeah. Teacher. For a moment. Hello. Eh, eh, sí, soy, soy Carla. Teacher. Eh, solo para agregar algo más a ese minister, eh, final minister, creo que lo tradujeron. Ah, como en los diferentes países no se llama Ministerio de Hacienda, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, cuando se va a referir como a la entidad donde se hacen los, los impuestos. Uh -huh. Se refiere como tax authority. Uh -huh. Ajá, que, que lo traducen como la autoridad fiscal de, de cada país, ¿verdad? Sí, también, Pero es sí, también uh -huh. hay una que le llaman fisco, ¿verdad? Pero ese no sé si es el mismo. Sí, es lo, está relacionado, pero, pero eh, en los documentos contables lo traducen como tax authority. Ah, ok. Es que yo también uh -huh. he escuchado uno, pero... Bueno, no, la verdad se me ha escapado. Es que lo escuché una vez en una, en una serie que estaba viendo. Vale, pero eh, muchas gracias, Carla. La verdad, muy interesante y muy apropiada la información ¿va? para que no nos vayamos solo con esto. Ok, solo una cosa. Eh, repito, pregunto de nuevo, ¿verdad? ¿Tienen problemas para escucharme, para visualizar mi pantalla o algo en este momento? No, dice. No. no. Vale, ok, perfecto. Continuamos entonces. Eh, vamos a ver, Fátima, por favor. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Ajá, Fatima. Usted es Adel, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. eh, on, the mo on Monday, November, quiero eh, ver. 22, ¿cómo se dice? 22. Second. 20, 20 second. Hola. 22. 20, 20 second. Ok. Uh -huh. 20. Yeah. Monday, November, 20 second. Ok, Ana, a ver. Yeah. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? Ajá, Adel. Eh, Adel, Adel. Eh, sorry, Fátima. X on Friday, the, the, el 26. 26th. 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 Ok, thank you very much. Um, Day 26th. Fatima. Ok, people, bye. It is important, ok, to, for you to know the difference between, ok, these two numbers. Ok, for example. This number, we pronounce it as you know, 22, right? But when we have it like this, okay? How do we pronounce it? Mm -hmm. 22nd. 
22nd. 22nd, right? Okay. 22nd. For example, 33, right? Or 33, también se puede. Algunos de ustedes les he escuchado 30, 33, también se puede. Okay. Okay. 33, the first one, and this one. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien sabe cómo se pronuncia esto? 33. 33, right, very good. Así mire se escribe, ¿ve? 30. Third, oops, third, okay. ¿Verdad? Estos son los números ordinales, ¿ok? Son los números este, ordinales, ¿verdad? Estos son utilizados muchas veces con fechas, ¿ok? Pero no siempre, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, más que todo, ¿verdad? Eh, in the United States, ¿ok? En los Estados Unidos se utilizan más estos, miren, los ordinal numbers para fechas, pero... In the United Kingdom, ok. ¿Saben qué países pertenecen al United Kingdom, por cierto? No, es que muchas veces cuando se les pregunta esto a las personas, todos piensan en, ah, en Inglaterra, a la reina de Inglaterra. Pero Reino hay más, Unido. Sí, hay más países que pertenecen ahí, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este, Escocia, ¿verdad? Groenlandia, ¿verdad? Y hay otros países que no me recuerdo. Okay, creo que hasta España creo que pertenece, no sé. ¿Ok? Pero United Kingdom, ¿ok? En United Kingdom, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo voy a hablar de mi cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, my birthday. No, mejor vamos a poner. I was born on March 17, 1992. ¿Ok? ¿You see? ¿Verdad? I was born on March 17th, ok, vale. El detalle con los números ordinales es que al final se les agrega el TH, ok, así que por eso es que cuesta un poquito pronunciar, ¿sí? Porque tenemos 17, ¿verdad? Lo pronunciamos como, ya saben, ¿verdad? 17, ok, pero ya si lo pronunciamos como en su, en su forma ordinal, ok, este, Fátima, por favor, tenga cuidado con el micrófono que casi siempre lo deja activo. Ok, eh, no sé si logran verlo ahí, lo que estoy poniendo. ¿Yes? Sí, ya se mira. Vale, ok. 17, así, miren. Y ese sonido de TH al final lo tienen que hacer, porque si no, no se les va a entender que están hablando así. Pero, como les estaba diciendo, ya que esto se utiliza en la USA, ok. En los Estados Unidos se pronuncian los números de esta forma. También se pueden pronunciar así, de esta forma, miren. Por ejemplo, I was born on March eh, 17, ahí sí, miren, más fácil, 1992. Esto es más común escucharlo en el inglés que hablan en el Reino Unido, ¿ok? Pero como ustedes están hablando el inglés de Estados Unidos, porque más de alguno, ¿verdad?, viaja a, a Estados Unidos, ¿verdad?, Tal vez algunos tal vez, tal vez tengan la oportunidad de viajar al Reino Unido, pero ya saben ahí ¿verdad? cómo pueden, pueden hablar, pero igual de cualquier forma, ¿verdad? ambos son correctos, ¿verdad? Pero por el bien del de vocabulario de hoy, pues vamos a hablarlo de esta forma, ¿ok? Para aprender la pronunciación y practicar la pronunciación de los números ordinales. Repito, ¿verdad? Este, para pronunciar los números ordinales, en su mayoría solo se le agrega el TH al final. Miren, así, de esta forma. Y lo pronunciamos, ¿verdad? Seventeenth, ¿verdad? Ese sonido de TH se suena como así, ¿ve? O sea, ponen la lengua entre los dientes superiores, ¿verdad? Y soplan, ¿ok? La lengua entre los dientes superiores y soplan. Así, ¿ya? Es un poquito complicado de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Pero ahí, va. Ahora bien, voy a querer que me digan su fecha de nacimiento justo como está aquí, para practicar un poquito, vea, the ordinal numbers, ¿ok? The question for you is this one. Miren, when were you born? Esta es una pregunta muy, muy común en inglés para crear conversaciones acerca de cumpleaños, vea. 
when were you born significa, ¿verdad? Cuando naciste, ¿ok? Cuando naciste, ¿ok? Y para responderlo van a decir, miren así, I was born on, ¿verdad? The month, el mes, vea, y el número con el TH, ¿ok? Eso sí, tengan cuidado porque si ustedes nacieron en el, por ejemplo, en el 21, ¿verdad? no va a ser TH, ¿ok? ¿Qué van a poner aquí en lugar de TH? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Anybody there? Years. Ajá. ST. Ok, excelente. Ok, veo que sí están familiar, familiarizados con eso, ¿verdad? 21st, ¿verdad? Ya no sería 21, ¿verdad? 21, uh -huh. no, 21st. Ok, excelente. Vale, por favor, háganlo ahí, su fecha de nacimiento. Esto sí, si quieren, escríbanlo para que vea, tengan ahí más, más claro lo que van a decir cuando les pregunte. Ok. Les voy a dar 15 segundos. Ok. 15 seconds to do this. It's really easy. And you are good students, you have you can do it really easily. Okay, are you ready? Vanessa, when were you born? Uh, I was born on March 8, 1990. Oh, your, your birthday was like uh, four days ago. Yes. <laughs> okay, why didn't you tell us? We would, <laughs> we, would, we would have seen happy birthday in your comfort. Okay. For the next time. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Miss Segura. Okay, Miss Segura, ask someone else. Va, permítanme un momento, voy a, voy a poner la pantalla que aparezcamos todos. Va, solo que les quiero preguntar antes de comenzar. Todos aparecen en el orden en el que, en el que me ven a mí, ¿ok? De, de siguiente de mi, de mi pantalla sigue Hernández, después Darwin, después Nelson. ¿Lo ven así? No. ¿No lo ven así? Sí. Sí. Vale. Le vuelvo a preguntar porque moví algunos. Vale. Después de mi pantalla aparece Vanessa, después Mr. Hernández, después Ed, Darwin, después Nelson, en la primera fila. Sí. Vanessa no aparece. Oh. Oh, ya, ya le va a aparecer. Vale. Ok, entonces vamos a ir en fila, miren. Vanessa le pregunta a Mr. Hernández, Mr. Hernández a Darwin y así sucesivamente. Ok, let's do it. Vamos a poner a Flor al último porque creo que aún no se ha conectado. Está ahí, pero todavía no. Ok, Vanessa, please ask Mr. Hernández. Teacher, uh, could you ask the question, please? No. I have a, a, a little. Okay, es que lo que pasa es que si la proyecto <laughs> no van a ver. Así que When a... were you born? Okay. Uh, When, When were you born? Sorry, but. Uh, In the uh, chat. Sí. There you go. When were you born? Okay, Mr. Hernandez, when were you born? Seventeen. I'm sorry, Mr. Hernandez. 1989. How do you say? 1989. 1989. Okay, excellent. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Hernandez, now you have to ask Darwin. Right? 
Tienen que preguntarle a la par de ustedes. Alguien ahí, por favor. Tiene una, 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 una. Fátima. ¿Sí? I was born on 15 February 1983. Continue, Mister. The next, the next person that is next to you. Uh, when were you born, Nelson Sancho? Okay, miren, hagamos algo. I was. Before, Mr. Mr. Bueno, todos vea, pueden ver que Darwin está a la par de Nelson Sánchez, sí. Yeah. Entonces, Darwin, por favor, haga como que está viendo a Mr. Sánchez, así. No, para el otro lado sería. Ok, perfecto. En Mr. Sánchez, haga como que está viendo a Darwin. No, sería para el otro. Yes. No, the other side. Yes, like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, huh? uh, I was, I was born on October third, uh, one hundred nine hundred twenty. Okay, Mister. No, bueno, a María no va a poder hacer eso porque María está hasta la otra esquina. Okay, but ask her the question. Thank you, Darwin, and Mister Sanchez. Ok. Uh, ¿A quién le tengo que hacer? ¿A María? María ¿A cuál Estela. María? María Estela. A ah, Estela. Estela, when were you born? I was born on June 24, 19. 67. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria. Now, Maria Estela, you can do it with Annabel, okay? Now, please look at Annabel and <laughs> ask her the question. Okay. Where, is, para allá, where, Annabel, where is the Annabel? Pantalla. Where is. Um, no, no está a la par de su pantalla. No. La... no. Ah, pues, I am here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Bueno, en ese caso, pues hagámoslo normal, pues creo, es que pensé que todos podían. I am in front, Annabel. Ajá. When Ajá. I was born on June 14. Excuse me, I don't, I don't ask you. Uh, ask me. Ask me. When were you born? When I was born on June. 14, 1988. Next. Who? Ophelia. Ophelia. Where were you born, Ophelia? I was born on October 19, uh, 1917. Next, Ophelia. Carla. Ay, Carla. Bye, Carla. When were you wrong, Carla? I was born on September 7, 1979. Ok. Continue. Who? To Fidel. Fidel. When were you born? I was born on November 18, uh, 1996. Continue. Hello. Hi. ¿A quién le pregunto? Eh, Fátima. ¿A quién le pregunto? 
No, Fidel is going to ask you, Fatima. When, when was <coughs> you born? Mm -hmm. Fatima? I was born. Mm -hmm. I was, was born mm -hmm. on September 4th. Mm -hmm. In the year? No quiere decir el año. O yo le pregunto. Ok. As Mayra. No le escuché bien aquí. A Mayra. 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 When. Where. Uh -huh. You both. Okay, I was born on September 22nd in 1987. Very nice, Mayra. And the last one, Nelson? Nelson, when were you born? I was born on September 15, 1978. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now let me take that second attendance. Please say present if I say your name. Sorry, there was a mosquito biting me. <laughs> okay, Darwin. Present. Uh, Delmis. Present. Uh, Duwin. Fatima. Fidel. Present. Flor de Maria. Irving José, Josué Adán, eh, Juan Ernesto, eh, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica, present, eh, María Estela, present, María Vanessa, present, Mayra Melanie, present, eh, Nelson Alfredo, present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Ofelia. And Raquel Bexabe. Tatiana and Walter. Bueno, esas dos personas creo que no, nunca han entrado, ¿verdad? Y un caballero que creo que solo una vez entró y a eso no volvió a entrar. Bueno, ok, people, let's continue. Now, let me show you some vocabulary that might help you. Ok. This vocabulary might help you. Okay, miren esta expresión de acá. I turned 29, bueno, voy a, years old, on March. Bueno, alguna vez se han preguntado, como digo, yo cumplo tantos años, ¿verdad? Tal, tal día, ¿ok? Bueno, para decir que ustedes cumplen, ¿verdad? Tanta edad, ¿verdad? Tan, tal día, ¿verdad? Decimos turn, ¿ok? I turn la edad que cumplen y cuando la cumplen pueden ser más específicos diciendo verdad el, el, el día específico verdad e incluso el año específico no hay problema pero solo hay más vocabulario para ustedes y otra cosa vea si no saben cómo decir las fechas en inglés ok we say it lo decimos por pares verdad cómo se dice esto 19 ok entonces es 19 ok y cómo se dice esto pues 92, ¿verdad? Ok, por ejemplo, si nacieron en el, en el 85, por ejemplo, ok, dirían, ¿verdad? 1985, ok, ¿verdad? Si nacieron en el 75, ¿verdad? 1975, ok, se dividen los números, ¿verdad? Eh, también lo pueden, si lo quieren decir completo, vea, o sea, 1,975, pero si se fijan es muy largo, ¿verdad? Para el tiempo de que ya hayan terminado de decir su fecha de nacimiento, pues la persona ya se aburrió, ¿verdad? Así que les recomiendo, ¿verdad? Que lo digan por parejitas, así es más, más común, ¿verdad? Hoy luego, ¿verdad? También en español le hemos adoptado esto, ¿verdad? Con el 2020, ¿verdad? O el 2021, ¿verdad? Que ahora decimos 2020, decimos ¿verdad? 2021. Pues en español es muy común, pero veo que ya se está volviendo trending. Ok. Bueno. Ok. Do you have any other question before we continue? Yes. 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 Yes.
No? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's continue, people. Now, I have two questions for you, okay? Les voy a preguntar directamente. Pero si quieren, mejor les pido a ustedes que me lo pregunten primero para que sepan cómo van a responder, ¿ok? Uy, no sé. Veamos otra vez. Bueno, ok. These are the two questions. Please, can someone ask me question number one? No sé si el tamaño de letra está así o quieren que lo haga más grande. Si quieren, lo hago más grande. It's good. It's good. It's good. Ok. Bueno, lo iba a hacer más grande, pero lo voy a dejar así entonces. Ok. But do you mark your events in your calendar? This is the first one. And the last one, do you attend your events? For example, do you mark, do you, vaya, pregúnteme a alguien, pues, que si no voy a hablar sola. <laughs> Okay, Do you no. mark two events in your calendar? Well, to be honest, I don't do that. I don't mark my events in my calendar hmm? because I am like repeating, okay, tomorrow I have to go there. And the other day I have, okay. But do you mark your events in your calendar, Maria Estela? And teacher, uh, if no sé, hoy escucho bien la primera parte de que habló. Ah, ok. Eh, can you hear me now? Now, yes. Ok. Well, to be honest, I don't mark my events in my calendar because I don't think it is like really important for me because I can remember the, the important dates. Right. But for example, you, Maria Estela, do you mark your events in your calendar? No, teacher. I, I don't mark. Okay, alguien tiene el micrófono ahí activado. Gracias. No, teacher. I, I don't mark my events in, in my calendar. I. Uh -huh. I, I do the most important. Okay, thank event. you very thank you very much. Mayra, do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes, I need mark my events in my calendar uh -huh. because they are very important. Uh, so you have an agenda? Yes, I have okay. an agenda. Okay, Mayra, thank you very much. And what about do you attend your events? Yes, I need to attend my events, but are important. Yes, they are important, and you need to attend your events. What about you, Fidel? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Fidel? Hi. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't mark. I don't marry him. Okay. Thank you very much, Fidel. Now, people, let's continue. Can you see the, the book? Yes. Okay. Well, tal vez esto ya lo vieron, verdad? Pero it is important that you know how to pronounce the, the months of the year okay and for this i will need a volunteer to pronounce the months of the year let's see nelson sanchez mr sanchez can you please help us pronounce the months of the year please okay month of the year mm -hmm. uh, you you can read it Yes, you, you, I need you to pronounce them, to, to okay. read them. Yes. Okay. Month of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent, mister. That is the correct pronunciation for all of those months. Okay. If you say January, it's okay. Okay. March, April, or April is okay. May, right? June, July, August. Okay. 
September, October, November, December. Ok, es easy, right? Is a piece of cake. Como, como podrán ver, este, este libro ya necesita actualizarse. <laughs> ok, write the names of the months on the calendar. Eh, think of three events and write the dates for them. Ok. Now, people. Va, esto está en su, en su manual, ¿verdad? Lo que van a hacer ustedes, permítanme, quiero ver acá la indication. Write the name of the months in the calendar. Think of three events. Ok. Now, I need you to think about a month. Ok, piensen en un mes que se les venga a la mente. Que envíen, pero obviamente tiene que ser, ¿verdad? De abril para arriba, ¿ok? Porque tiene que ser un plan futuro, ¿sí? Vale. Por ejemplo, I write October, ¿ok? Permítanme, voy a usar el, el, el... Ay, es que aquí lo malo es que no, en este libro, cuando es PDF, no puedo manchar. Eso es lo que no me gusta de usarlo, ¿sí? Por eso es que lo pongo en PowerPoint, pero hoy por cuestiones de tiempo no me dio chance de, de preparar una PowerPoint, jóvenes, pero para futuras clases, ¿verdad? La, la voy a preparar, no se preocupe. Siento yo que es un poquito más, más práctico, ¿verdad? Hacerlo en PowerPoint. Bueno, este, bueno, entonces lo que van a hacer ustedes de acá es marcar, ¿verdad? El nombre del, del mes, ¿ok? Porque aquí no pueden ni ver ni, ni mi puntero, la verdad. Bueno, pero van a escribir un nombre del, del mes, ¿ok? Bueno, entonces, como podrán ver, ve, aquí están las fechas. Entonces van a marcar tres, tres fechas, ¿ok? Y después de eso me van a describir por qué han marcado estas fechas. Para ello, si gustan, eh, no sé cuántos de ustedes tienen el manual impreso. Este, levanten como la manito, ¿verdad? Ay, con, con, con el... teacher, Estela. Ok. Sí. Vaya, veo que hay varios, ok. Good. Vaya, si usted no lo tiene impreso, ¿verdad? Le voy a pedir de favor que sí me haga un, un medio cuadrito, ¿verdad? Como de un calendario, porque voy a necesitar, ¿verdad? De que cuando lo, les pida, ¿verdad? Que hagan lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Me, me muestren, ¿ok? Me muestren así. Y digamos aquí hay un, un calendario, ¿ok? Y yo voy a decir, for example, well, one of my plans for... For, y aquí, ¿verdad? Dice el mes. For, for July, ¿ok? Is on July 10th, I have an important meeting with my boss. We are going to discuss my pay rise. <laughs> ¿Ok? And then you will say, for end, at the end of the month, in the final date, on Jul, June, June o July, no me acuerdo qué mes dije. Bueno, en June... Bueno, junio tiene 30, 31. Bueno. 30. Ok. June eh, 30, ok. I have, eh, I have to go to an important eh, training in another country. I have to go to, to the United States. This training is going to, to talk about English as a foreign language, ¿eh? bla, 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 y así, ¿verdad? O sea, lo que yo quiero es que ustedes no vayan a mostrar su calendarito, ¿verdad? Con las fechas que marcaron, ¿sí? ¿Se entiende? Yes. Vale, pero voy a necesitar ver esos cheques grandes, ¿verdad? resaltados ahí, por favor. Para los que tienen el libro ya impreso, pues esto se les va a hacer súper sencillo. Pero los que no lo tienen, ¿verdad? Por eso les pido que cojan ahí un, un poquito de papel, ¿verdad? Y me dan ahí un medio calendario, ¿verdad? Rudimentario para poder eh, mostrarlo, ¿verdad? Están viendo mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Porque estoy haciendo aquí unas cosas en la pantalla para que puedan visualizarlas. ¿Ok? Bye. Do you have any question? Is this activity clear for you? Yes. Ok. Good. ¿Vale? Les vuelvo a mostrar ¿verdad? el calendarito que está en, la, en el manual, ¿verdad? Y es on page 28. Ok. Y es on page 28. Page 28. People. Remember that there, are, there must be three events. Si no tienen pues tantos planes, ¿verdad? Para este mes, invéntense alguno, ¿ok? Para que se les salgan tres en el mes, por favor. 
Este, voy a revisar a quién le toca hoy la, la sesión privada. Para que, ¿verdad? Recuerde que le toca, pues, y para que aproveche el espacio. ¿verdad? Recuerden que eso no es como... Es como depende de usted. ¿verdad? Si usted quiere hacerlo, pues, aprovechelo, ¿verdad? Si no, pues, ¿verdad? si me dice teacher, la verdad, he tenido un día largo, ¿verdad? Y la verdad, quiero dormir, necesito dormir, me siento mal, ¿verdad? O cualquier cosa, pues, yo los comprendo, ¿verdad? Y, pues, me quedo ahí con alguien más que desee aprovechar la oportunidad. Ok. Today is... Is Annabel Storm, okay? So Annabel, if you want to take the opportunity, well, you are welcome. Okay, I will take the opportunity. Okay, good. We are going to practice a lot of English. We are going to speak full English, okay? Okay. Great. Continue working. Ok, people, aparte de, aparte de marcar vea, your events in that calendar, remember that you have to think about those events. Ok, traten de, 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 de pensar, vea, cómo me los van a describir, ok. No es necesario que lo escriban todo lo que van a decir, vea, pero al menos vea eh, fechas o de qué va a tratar ese evento, something like that, ok. Is everyone working? If you have any question, remember that you can ask me. Teacher, how do I say, uh, I don't know. All right, finish, guys. Raise your hand if you finish. Use the, the, the option for raising your hand if you finish. If not, well, don't raise your hand. <laughs> Les digo, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita... Teacher, tiene el, el micrófono apagado. Ah, no sé por qué se me apagó. ¿Desde qué hora no me pueden escuchar? Ahorita, teacher. No, es que no sé por qué, pero incluso otra opción también se me, se me activa ya sola. Yo no, yo no he dado nada de eso. Así que está rara esta cosa. Uh. <clears throat> oh, you finished, Mayra. You are going to be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take this. I show my calendar. Okay, ju just wait, 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 because your your classmates right now they are working. And as they are working, okay. they are not, they are not going to pay much attention. So let's let's okay. let's wait okay. let's wait a little more, okay, for them to finish, because I need them to pay attention. Okay.
Okay, guys, how are you doing? Finish? Yes. Anybody else finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Now, please pay attention to your classmates, okay? They are going to talk about the events that they have to do or in other ones, in other words, sorry, agenda, okay? Their agenda for a determined month. Okay, Mayra, can you show us? Va, permítame, vamos, vamos a dejar de compartir, ¿verdad? Y vamos a poner vista para todos y vamos a darle prioridad a Mayra para que la vean todos. No se vaya a poner nervioso. <laughs> okay, just give me a second. Okay, bye, ahora sí. Ahora, everyone can see Mayra. Okay, this is my calendar. Okay, yes, we can okay. see. Okay, I choose uh, September because mm -hmm. it's my favorite month. Mm -hmm. um, and September 10 is my sister's birthday. Oh. And we will have a small celebration. Mm -hmm. And September 15th is a holiday. Um, and there is a vacation. Oh, yeah. And September 22. Mm -hmm. It's my birthday celebration. Oh, okay. Okay, excellent, excellent job, Mayra. Okay, now let's see another student who wants to participate. Bueno, permítame, la voy a quitar para que no la sigan viendo. No, okay, Así, ya puede rascarse la cabeza por si le picaba o algo. <laughs> okay. okay, let's see another student. Do you want to participate, Mayra? Uh, sorry, Maria, Maria Estela. Okay, se me cayó la cámara. Okay. Permita un momento. Permita un momento, jóvenes, que se me cayó la cámara. Teacher, are you ready? No, es que la cámara la tengo en, un, en, un, en una cuestión con una pinza. Uy, lo malo es que van a ver que ando en llenas. <risa> dificultades técnicas aquí. Ay, otra vez se quiere caer. Ay, disculpen el desorden, pero es que yo transmito en un cuarto que es una bodega. Para no incomodar a los demás miembros de mi familia, por cierto. Imagínense tan noche y estar ahí hablando inglés en la noche. Pues pueden pensar que estoy invocando algo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, pues No se preocupe, no se vio nada. Ah, bueno. Ok. Vale. No, okay, bueno, teacher. Are you ready? <laughs> la verdad que vamos a ver si la ponemos en otro lado porque suerte que no le pasó nada. Bueno, es que quiero asegurarla bien porque no vaya a ser. Con la el puente, de wallpaper. Ah. Estaba ahí traveseando yo y no, espérense, la tengo que montar en otra cosa porque no se me va a volver a caer. Va, eh, bueno, en el, en el tiempo que, que hago eso, pues vamos a dejar el espacio a mi a María Estela. Yo mientras tanto me voy a me voy a voy a quitar la cámara porque si no quiero que estén viendo todo. <risa> ok, María. Is your opportunity to, to talk? Okay. My very important month is um, October. It's October. And I... Okay, uh, Maria, sorry to interrupt you. Remember that you have to show your calendar to the camera. Okay, okay. Do you look? Yes, we can see it really clearly. 
okay. Um, three, three, three days. One, one. Um, I have to re request tax solvents. Seventeen. Uh, I renew operation operation bonds. Um, twenty seven. Uh, I um, I have to apply for for trade registration. Okay. Yes. Three, three days uh, are very important for my for my job. Okay, thank you very much, Maria. Is that all? Finish. Eh, no sé la, la, la pronunciación, teacher, de algunas cosas si están bien dichas. Solicitar solvencia tributaria, requests solvency, tax, res, eh, tax solvency. Yes, it's correct, tax solvency. Mm -hmm. Okay, y a, eh, applic for trade registration. Yes, it's also correct. Okay, y requests operation bond. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria, and sorry for that, people. Is I think I just finished with my camera, fixing my camera. I'm sorry, teacher. Bueno, no va a estar totalmente bien cuadrado el, el panorama, pero para mí otra Así que, sorry, sorry about that. Ok, eh, let's see another participant. Eh, mm, mm, let's check Anabel. Anabel. For me, is June. The, the, my favorite month. Because mm -hmm. on the first day is the first day of my little niece. She's seven years old and is the little one at home. <laughs> on 14 is my birthday. And on 15, I have a aunt. That is his her her birthday too. And on seven thing is my nephew birthday. Mm -hmm. And on 20 is an another aunt <laughs> birthday. And on 21st is my mother's birthday. So <laughs> wow, you have a very busy agenda. <laughs> Yes, all the yeah. months. Okay, thank you very Everybody much. June. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, Annabel. Let's see now. Mm -hmm. One more, okay, Carla? Okay. Can you see my, can you watch my calendar? Yes, now we can. Okay. Uh, my schedule calendar mm -hmm. is on my, May, on May 10, I will have the Mother's Day celebration. Mm -hmm. On May 20, I will have a trip to Paris with my family. Mm -hmm. On May 30, 
I will have a, a, very, a very important business meeting with senior executive uh, to sign a new contract. It's a fantasy teacher. <laughs> ah, okay, I, I, I was I was thinking, wow, this girl is flying, <laughs> <is> flying high. <laughs> okay. Thank you, okay. uh, Miss Vasquez. Okay, people, just one observation okay. for all the participations that you already have done, okay? Is that remember that dates, okay? Ay, que barbaridad, me va muy cerca. Okay, is that you have to pronounce dates correctly, okay? The numbers, okay? It's not May 10th, it's May 10th, okay? Right? Okay, va. Para los que siguen, vea, ojo ahí con las fechas, cómo las van a decir, okay? Ay, la verdad que estoy muy cerca. Me, me siento un poquito incómodo. Okay, next is Darwin. Darwin, can you show us what you have done? My calendar. Yes, your calendar. We can see your calendar. Just let me do something for you to be the one. Yes, now we can see you, mister. My month selection is October. Mm -hmm. because October 2nd is important for the participation in meeting for creation of new products in the company. Mm -hmm. For example, new diapers, new napkins, new towels, mm -hmm. all the papers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important 21st for visit parents of my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. <laughs> and and 31st is important for resize my bonus of my job. Ah, okay, that's really important, right? You have to really <laughs> yes. check it in your calendar. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Ayala. Okay, now let's see Mr. Hernandez. Okay, yes, we can see that. December. Mm -hmm. December 9th. Mm -hmm. It's very important for me because it's the birthday of my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, December 24 is a very important because I share more, more time with my family. Mm -hmm. And December 31, uh, I share with friends. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, those are very important dates for everyone, right? Uh, Nelson Sanchez, did you already participate? Yeah. Have you already participated? Ya participó usted, no? No. Okay, mister, let's see. Your agenda? No, <laughs> Oh, no le va a salir por el efecto que tiene. Ah, ahora podemos ver dónde está. <laughs> ok, Mr. Sánchez. Ajá, es yes. October, ajá. Ok. October, en the, in the first, es... Is, uh, they 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 bore and i always and always i i lunch i have to lunch with my family mm -hmm. and uh, 12 uh, is root day 
and I like visit uh, downtown history. Mm -hmm. And, and thirty uh, is was born my my older brother. I I I go at your house and give me bring, give me give yeah is that okay thank you very much Mr. Sanchez uh, does anybody is missing who who is missing from participating um, Fidel right Fatima and Ophelia okay Fidel let's go with you. Hi. Hello, Fidel. I don't have the calendar. But did you did you did you make your calendar in, in, in a piece of paper, no? No? Well, of... yeah, well so just mention just mention the events, okay? No tengo impreso. Mm, okay, uh -huh. Mention the, the events, mister. My favorite moment. It's November. November. Mm -hmm. Yes. November 18 is more important because it's my birthday. All right. I celebrate. Mm -hmm. um, November 18. Mm -hmm. uh, on November 12 is important because it's the is a sister anniversary. All right. On his husband. Mm -hmm. On November 25, always I visit my friend on San Miguel. Okay. Is that it, Mr. Mr. Coreas? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Coreas. Now let's check Ophelia's agenda. Where is Ophelia? Okay. Oh, he, here. Okay, Ophelia. Yeah, uh, calendario. Yes. Okay. Uh, I do mar a you event in October. Mm -hmm. uh, I park visit visited I park um eighty uh Visit a play. Um, uh, 23. Uh, my birthday. Finish? Sí, yes, finish. yes. I think you were going to continue, but okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Ophelia. Let's see. I think Fatima is missing. Where is Fatima? Fatima? I'm Flor. Flor, did you do the, the task or no? No, okay. Uh -huh, Fatima? Um, no sé si se ve. Permítame que todavía está. <laughs> But ahora sí, now you can. Uh -huh. Show us. Um, okay, very good. Even December. Mm -hmm. December. Three, uh, bir, bir die, oh, oh, my daughter. Ah, okay, very good. Um, otro evento eh, December 12. Mm -hmm. I will travel on the United States. Ah, all right, very good. Y December 24, permítame. Mm -hmm. 24, I will celebrate uh, Christmas on December. Okay, excellent, Miss. Uh, is anybody missing from this uh, task? No? No, okay. Okay, no. people, as you know, this is the last, the last day for this week, okay? I will see you on no. Monday. But before we go, there are some important things that you need to know. Okay, and the first one, okay, is about the task in the platform, okay. Les repito, ¿verdad?, que tienen que hacer eso, okay, así que por favor, si no lo han hecho, realícenlo hoy, ya que hoy es el último día, ¿verdad? 
si no lo hacen, ¿verdad? Eso les puede afectar después, porque en la, vez, la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Yo he visto bastantes estudiantes, vea, que aquí ya manejan el, el inglés en un nivel bastante bueno, pero, ¿verdad? Hubieron algunos que tal vez se les olvidó, ¿verdad? O se les escapó, ¿verdad? Que tenían que hacer las cuestiones de los, de los, de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y pues eso, que eso no les va a afectar en algo. Al igual que la asistencia, ¿verdad? Recuerden que tienen que estar asistiendo, estar, estar a la hora, ¿verdad? Traten de no entrar muy tarde porque recuerden que eso también a la larga les puede afectar por los minutos que se les solicitan, ¿verdad? Ustedes de estar en las sesiones. Y mmm, bueno, creo que no hay nada más que agregar, solo recordarles, por favor, sobre el trabajo en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Recuerden, vea, esta es la segunda semana ya que hemos tenido. Eh, la primera semana, recuerden, vea, que tuvimos una retroalimentación, vea, para mí y yo para ustedes. No sé qué tal le he tomado a, a bien, ¿verdad? Sus, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Observations, ¿ok? No sé si las han notado, ¿verdad? Que las he tratado de implementar un poco, ¿verdad? Lo del vocabulario al principio de la clase, ¿verdad? Este, no sé qué otra cosa, observación, qué otra observación me dijeron. Ah, explicar las, las, las actividades, ¿verdad? Más eh, y, re, y repetirlas en español si es necesario, ¿verdad? No sé si tienen alguna duda, ¿verdad? O tienen, ah, no sé si hay alguien tiene algún problema con el ingreso a la plataforma. No. Yes. ¿Alguien dijo sí? No. Vale. Ok. No. Bueno, este, cualquier cosa, cualquier problema técnico que tengan, ¿verdad? Para ingresar a la plataforma o también a las videoconferencias, ¿verdad? Cualquier cuestión ahí. Este, recuerden, vea que estamos a la disposición para que, para solventarles eso, ¿verdad? Y para que no les case, cause ningún inconveniente. Este, bueno, see you until Monday. Remember, work in the platform and practice your English and enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much for paying attention and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Annabel, you have to stay, okay? The rest of you, please. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Okay, okay, let me just introduce the, the private session. Okay, welcome. This is another private session. Today I am going to be working with Annabel Lopez. And okay, Annabel, tell me, do you want me to help you or do you want to practice? Maybe you have a question, or if you don't have questions, let's just practice, okay? I can hear you. Is your mic? Your mic is not active. Sorry, I was talking. <laughs> no, yes, huh? Yeah, I don't. I don't have any questions because for me the topics are clear. Maybe we can have a conversation. Or something. Yes, actually, I think you, your English level is really good for this level. I mean, all of your classmates are like basic too. There are like, there are six levels according to the um, uh, American, no, the European framework of the language in English. We have basic, mm -hmm. basic two, intermediate, intermediate two, advanced one, and advanced two. And I think, and I believe you are really close to advanced 
or you are advanced because you 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 know to you know how to express your ideas really easily okay let's mm -hmm. let's talk about something what do you want to talk about i don't know i maybe i can say that i have received some english class with before uh -huh. i was interested in, in that how did you learn english um at Rolingua Institute, I took some courses there, so I I practice. But it is because in my job sometimes I have to talk with people in English because it is a a foundation. But we have visit from the United States, some delegates. I don't know if it is the correct word mm -hmm. to say that, but sometimes we have delegations, they come to visit and I have to prepare the itinerary, sometimes the transportation, the um, pay the hotels, mm -hmm. things like that. And, and we when have- you, when you, Sorry for interrupting. And when you interact with these uh, people, how do you feel? They have told me that I I can speak English <laughs> mm -hmm. because I they always ask me if I can speak English because they sometimes are I don't know how to say that but sorprendidos surprise surprise uh -huh. surprise because we speak English. That is really, if you ask me, that is something like, I don't, know, I don't like that. It's like Americans think that their that English is the only language in the world and that yeah. people who speak two languages are like, wow, amazing. A person who speaks English, uh -huh. speaks English. they are and always like that. Yes, that's it. That happens mm -hmm. because sometimes they, they think that I don't speak. I, I I am very lazy to speak sometimes, <laughs> and I try to know not to talk too much with people. But when they start to making me some conversation, and I have a topic that it is interesting for me, or something that I want to to talk with the people, I do. But Sometimes I am um, only explain the itinerary, <laughs> mm. and, but that's how I quit the shame <laughs> to speak English because I know they don't know Spanish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. English. Yes. yes, and actually Spanish is more difficult than English. It's like mm -hmm. if you speak English, it's like, mm. but if you speak Spanish, mm, you are a pro. Yes, mm -hmm. and tell me, how yes. do you feel when you speak English with these people? Because in my case, I haven't had the opportunity to speak English with a person like, like that. It's like, I never had the chance. No, maybe. It is, mm -hmm. it is depending on the state <laughs> because it is real that if, if there are people from different states, they have different accents. Mm -hmm. So some people you understand very clear, but there are another people that I don't understand too much and but i i ask when i don't understand yes it's okay to ask. i always ask or i always tell them don't don't speak so fast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it okay very nice i i never had the opportunity to talk with people like well maybe one time because it was a training and we have a, a teacher from 
well, or trainer, right? And she was from, mm -hmm. remember the state, but she was uh, an American, okay? And we were speaking and it was, yes, I, it was easy. It was easy to speak with them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's- really I remember. I I start to speak English because, well, I came to work to share foundation and I have a lot of co-workers that were from the United States too. Mm -hmm. So always in the lunch, they making me speak in English because it was, well, they always were telling me, well, today we are going to speak only in English. <laughs> so I had to, I must to understand what they were talking about. But the first days I remember that I only smiled for a little thing that I, that I understand mm -hmm. because the most conversation, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you been to the States? No, never. No, never. Never, because I was, I asked for the visa and they didn't give me the visa because I I, I haven't get married yet. Oh, yes, that's, that's a requirement. And Sometimes they don't have they, kids, uh -huh. uh, and, don't have kids and my parents are at the United States too, so, oh, boy. and they are, and the commented people, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they didn't give me. Even my boss write a letter that it was for me to show the project that we have here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really but complicated when mm -hmm. you have like close family in the United States. They don't yes, and them. they are my parents, so. <laughs> Yes, I, know. I can. They think that you are going to stay there, but I guess that you are only going to visit your parents, right? Yes. Yes. I, for me, I, it never has been a dream to go to the United States because if I would would want to go, I would did that before some before to study. <laughs> okay. If you want me to help you. You could say, I would have done it. I, I would have done it. Uh -huh. Yes, I, okay. would, I would have done it uh, before. Uh -huh. Before, uh-huh. Okay. Yes, my, uh, is, is, that's my case. My, my mom is in there, like, she has, like, 25 years being in the United States, and I never been, like, like, I want to go to the United States and stay there. No, I would I would want to go, but only to visit my mom. But stay there, it's not it's not something like oh I want to live in the United States, the American dream, blah blah blah. No, nah. nah, nah. it's, it's not my case. I I am happy here in El Salvador. Yes, and I like my 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 country. Yes, and I can go to another countries too mm -hmm. so I, I i like travel and i don't like to stay in jail because <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the united states it's like being in jail in, yes, the, in a big country <laughs> yes <laughs> ah free country right <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and what <laughs> countries have you visited i was Almost, well, I was born in Nicaragua. Ah, you are not a Salvadorian by, by birth. My, by birth, no, but my parents are Salvadorians, so they were <laughs> at Nicaragua when I was born. Ah, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And when I was one year, they came back to El Salvador, mm -hmm. so I grew up here. But when I was child, I remember that my my father took me. Uh -huh, he took me 
to Guatemala two times. Mm -hmm. And when I start working, like in 2015, I went to Nicaragua because I had never been there before. Mm -hmm. Before my my parents led the the country, so it was my first time to go to know where I was born, <laughs> mm -hmm. and on in the next year I remember I went to Panajachel, Guatemala, mm -hmm. and the almost two years ago. I went to Francia, mm -hmm. Monaco, and Italy. Wow, you have been in a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. I had you... the opportunity and I took it. <laughs> yes, it's really good because, if, because... for example, in my, in my university, they were giving these opportunities to study abroad, but it was really complicated to get that because you had to present many documents and and I don't know how to say apostillarlos, pero tenían que hacer mm -hmm. este. it's, it's really complicated. And I was like, nah, maybe in another time. Mm -hmm. I went for pleasures, not to work. <laughs> because I were, well, it was my third 31 years, so I celebrate my birthday there, there, and my father oh. helped me with the, the flight. Violeta. Flight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, with the fly, mm -hmm. and I have a, my best friend, she has his her family there in Monaco. So we and went did you, to visit. Did you visit Paris? Yes. Ah, you went to Paris and the, the, the Eiffel Tower and da, da, da. <laughs> It was an adventure because I remember I was, well, we, we arrived Paris by plan, <laughs> mm -hmm. but we came, came back by bus. <laughs> so by plan, it's only two hours to arrive to Paris, <laughs> mm. but we had to go to Niza, that is the airport in near to Monaco. Mm -hmm. And we traveled by bus and we took uh, two buses. And I remember it was the whole night, but in the bus, nine hours to arrive to Niza. <laughs> Niza. Oh, wow. That seems yeah. to be it like was really tired. Really tired. How do they yeah. say in Spanish? Después del gustazo. El trancazo. I don't know how to say that in English. There must be an idiom. But I don't... Maybe mm. there, there must be an idiom for yes. that. <laughs> yes, you know, idioms are not always uh, literal translations, right? They mm -hmm. are like, mm -hmm. like idiomatic exp expressions expression yes yes well i i i see that you have an interesting but that was from your job or it was just uh, you that wanted to go there no to what from your job it was like a a, a trip for for you for yourself or by with it you was a trip for myself Ah, okay. I mm -hmm. thought it was something like, like to work. Uh, uh -huh, to work no, or to, to meet or some me. important <laughs> people or something like that. No, no but it, it was, was for pleasure. For leisure. But, uh, pleasure. Leisure. Is that... Pleasure is something like more, you know. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. It was for leisure and things. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, I think we're going to end up here, uh, Annabel, because it's 10.44, I have 10.44, and it's only 10 minutes, 
Okay, talk a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> no, actually, it is good that you practice. And as you say, you practice with your with your coworkers. Keep doing that. And if you had the opportunity to practice with with native speakers, that's even better because you are going to learn a lot. Yes. Now it is a little bit complicated in my work because there are not native people because mm -hmm. they they went to the United States. Mm -hmm. They almost two years ago, we are only Salvadorians here. But and we used to have delegations, and now for the pandemic, it, they having come, haven't came. It is mm -hmm. the, the correct way to say, yes. having came, uh -huh, having came to El Salvador. But so I have some friends from the United States because we receive different people and they make, we made friends <laughs> with those people. So sometimes I talk, I try to talk with them. Yes, it is good because you, for example, the things that I teach in the in our sessions are really basic for you. You are like, oh, um, I already know this. I already know that. But uh, I, I, I am going to ask for your participation always because I mean, your English is good. And for the conversations, I need someone that pronounces words and makes the correct uh, like like facial expressions, body language, mm -hmm. right, and feeling. Okay, because your your mm -hmm. your classmates sometimes speak like robots. They don't give that emotion mm -hmm. to the to the conversations, and also try mm -hmm. to help your classmates. When I I, I do it <laughs> when when we have the group, the classroom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they ask ask me. And yeah, I yeah. I try to help them how pronounce or give some tips <laughs> to yeah. pronounce the, the words easily. <laughs> yes, always do that because you, you already know English, I mean, so you can help mm -hmm. other people learn English and also in our sessions. Well, remember that these are requirements for, for a means support that you, that you stay here and blah, 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 you know that. The, the protocols, but uh, I will need your help to, you know, for conversations, for readings and for things like that. Okay, it's not that I don't want other students to practice, it's that I want them to know how to pronounce words correctly, mm -hmm. because when they hear a mispronunciation, they, they get that mispronunciation or that grammar mistake and they repeat it and repeat it and it becomes a and something that they don't do correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to help you. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, mm -hmm. Annabel, for your time. This is an opportunity okay. for you to practice, and thank you for taking it, and thank you for being here, and I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.